Well, Chris Haley, Governor Parson ended his remarks and his public portion just about 45 minutes ago. He was here on campus for about 45 minutes speaking to students, staff and uh, assembled guests here on the Missouri Western State Campus. Now, this is his first official duty appearance since he and the First Lady tested positive for COVID-19 September 23rd. Parson says both he and the First Lady have fully recovered. He said throughout his time he did not feel symptomatic while the First Lady did have some mild symptoms. This all comes as he also revealed four of his staff members did test positive for COVID-19. Now Parson has not supported a statewide mask mandate. He spoke to members of the public and the press without a mask today. He did put it right back on after he got done speaking. We asked him about his use of masks going forward. I think what we did is moving forward. We've encouraged to wear a mask for over 100 press briefings that I've been in from day one. But there's three things I think are important. The mask issue has become the most political issue. But it's not one out of three. It's social distancing. Don't be around anybody for 15 minutes and don't get around large gatherings. Wear a mask, personal hygiene. I think we've tried to make it into a one issue, but it's really not. It's all the above protects Missouri citizens. But I encourage it. I have all ever since I've stood up there in March, I've encouraged people to wear a mask and we'll continue to do it. And when you get in those environments, you should wear a mask. Again, the governor did put that mask back on after he was done speaking. We also asked the governor's spokeswoman whether he or the first lady ever lost their sense of taste or smell. And the spokeswoman texted me back to say that did not happen for either of them, saying they both feel well. Matt Fleener, KBC 9 News. Governor Parson is planning an event in Jefferson City tomorrow and then a ceremonial bill signing in St. Louis on Thursday. Friday, the Missouri governor will face off against Democrat Nicole Galloway in a rescheduled gubernatorial debate set for two Friday afternoon in Columbia. Look for full coverage right here on KNBC 9 News.